Hi, in this video, we are going to take a look at how VMware Kubernetes engine can be integrated with Wavefront. Wavefront is a, a SaaS-based analytics platform from VMware where you can forward metrics from all kinds of applications, Kubernetes cluster, to see what's going on within those applications. Now, I already have a cluster deployed in VMware Kubernetes engine called VKE Demo. And what I really want to do with this demo is to actually forward all the metrics data that the Kubernetes cluster is collecting into VMware Wavefront. Now to do so, Wavefront has different integrations that it already understands. So it understands what metrics to collect and what that really means. For example, for it already has an integration with VMware Kubernetes engine uh, once you log into the Wavefront dashboard. I'm going to click at that um, and then go into setup zone. So once I get into the setup tab, um, I have a couple of steps to do. The first thing I'm gonna do is deploy the Wavefront proxy within my Kubernetes cluster that I want to monitor, build a service for that proxy so that the service can actually communicate out of the cluster and to the Wavefront uh, SaaS server, and then deploy Heapster that is actually going to collect all the different metrics and forward it um, using the proxy to Wavefront. So it's as simple as doing these three different steps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first copy the Wavefront proxy YAML, the deployment YAML, go to my VMware Kubernetes engine cluster, um, get into my k UI. I can actually even do this using uh, kube control um, as long as I have the YAML files downloaded locally. And then I'm going to hit create and just paste the text in here. So what we are going to do right now is we're going to deploy an, an app um, called Wavefront Proxy. You'll see some pods getting deployed. After a couple of minutes, all the pods that are needed for Wavefront Proxy should be deployed. Okay, let's hit a refresh. Right, it sounds like the Wavefront app pods have been deployed. Now let's look at step number two. Step number two is basically creating a service out of the app that we just deployed. So I'm going to just, you know, use the same settings, nothing to change over here in the text or the YAML file and hit upload. So this is going to be instant. You can see the Wavefront proxy has been created. It's a cluster IP based service, not a load balancing type service. So you're not going to lose any public IP addresses for this. Um, once that's done, now the third step is actually to deploy Heapster. So again, I'm going to copy the whole YAML file and get into my cluster. Now here is where you have to do things a little bit different. You will by default be in the default namespace uh, in the Kubernetes cluster UI. You want to change the namespace to cube system because that's where we need to deploy Heapster. And then you hit create and copy the YAML. Now, once you have copied the YAML, uh, you want to change the sync source uh, described in the YAML. So for example, what you really want to change over here is the cluster name to be the name of the cluster that you're actually going to forward metrics data for. In my case, it is VKE demo, and that's what I'm going to call it. Um, so that way, when I log into Wavefront, it's easy for me to understand where this metrics is coming from, what Kubernetes cluster is generating that. So that's the only change you need to do to your YAML file that you just copied from the Wavefront uh, integration page. And click Upload.
that's it so heapster replication controller has been deployed and now if i log into wavefront i should start seeing um vke demo cluster metrics coming in so i'm logging i'm going back to my wavefront account i go to metrics I do see some metrics coming in, but I don't know whether the source of this metrics is coming from the cluster that uh, I just deployed the Wavefront proxy on or another K8 cluster that I'm actually monitoring with Wavefront. Now, to test that, all you have to do is click on the All Sources button over here and select Custom, and then enter the name of the cluster that you, uh, enter the name of the cluster that you just deployed. Uh, or change the YAML file configuration to. And if you see that coming in as a filtered item, that means you're actually seeing data coming in. So I see VKE demo and some of the data that's coming in, for example, for the Heapster um, cluster CPU limit, I see like well, it's set on a specific number over here. And similarly, I'll see many more metrics. Now, the other thing you could do is go to dashboards and build your own dashboards based on the metrics. I already have a Kubernetes dashboard built for me, which um, is actually showing results from different Kubernetes clusters. Um, now, I can select my specific cluster that I just deployed the VPN proxy into and see some details and charts about it. For example, the number of nodes this cluster has, um, the memory usage, CPU usage, etc. You can also use Wavefront to monitor the applications that you deploy on top of your VKE cluster. Wavefront has different integrations with different kinds of applications. So, for example, if you actually use an Elasticsearch engine on top of your Kubernetes cluster, you can actually use Wavefront to uh, get metrics from uh, Elasticsearch container. Or if you're deploying Nginx in front of your applications, you can use Wavefront to see what's going on with Nginx and the workload that it's handling, etc. So that's about today's uh, integration video. Thank you.